Hello insiders, news flash time. This will be a quick one. First item, the YouTube audio library is moving to the new studio. So we've always had a deep link to the classic version of the audio library, but now we have a completely new native version built on the latest YouTube studio technology. So you're gonna have all of the YouTube audio library tracks from Classic Studio available natively. But we've also made a lot of changes to the interface to modernize the audio library with studio patterns and added new features to aid search and discovery of royalty-free music for creators to use in your videos. So check it out. Let us know what you think in the comments below. See guys, I remember I promised you that all of those deep link things to Classic will start showing up natively and we are just powering through the last few. Next, uh, we are bringing dark mode to 100% of iOS Studio Mobile app users by mid-May, maybe earlier. The rollout has already started very gradually. Next, several weeks ago, we came uh, to you for feedback about the potential deprecation of community captions, uh, James and I have been going through all of the comments on that video and we're having a number of internal meetings to discuss um, what we can learn from them. So uh, stay tuned. We'll share more information on that soon. Today, I also want to get your input on another feature, which is the poll cards, the info cards that have the polls. We are considering retiring these and want to get feedback from the community. The main reason is like most of our deprecations, it's lack of usage. Less than 0.2% of channels have used them at all this year. And additionally, most of the channels that are getting real engagement on them have a better option. So because of this, we think that the info card polls are probably a good candidate for deprecation, which then frees up resources to work on other features, such as uh, improving the do-it-yourself captions, improving the dashboard, dark mode on desktop. So there's a lot of things that we want to do to improve the creator experience. Obviously, we can't work on everything. So over time, you have to continuously prune those features that we know creators uh, are not using as much as others. So this will not change anything for other info card types like um, you know video links or playlist links or, or um, web links. Uh, and it does not change anything about end screens. But for info card polls, we're thinking of uh, moving them off and focusing efforts on higher benefiting creator features. So let us know in the comments below if those are crucial to you. And maybe even more important, what are some other things that you'd like us to improve in YouTube Studio because we might have a little bit of extra bandwidth if we can move off of poll cards. So uh, curious to hear what you think. Next, for trivia, last week I asked you what was a key feature that we had launched in Android Creator Studio mobile app, and the, the answer was dark mode, which I know a lot of you are digging, which is why we're working hard to make it available on iOS as well. And the first person who guessed that it was the Android dark mode uh, was Overlord Actual. So congrats, Overlord Actual. You got there first. Okay, this week I have a question for you. <clears throat> this week's trivia question. If you want to get a sense of the size of your audience, the size and reach of your channel, what is the best way to do that? And I'm gonna give you a hint. The subscriber count is often referred to by many people when they say, oh yeah, you know, I have a YouTube channel that has this many subscribers, or wow, that channel has this many subscribers. It uh, oftentimes is not exactly the best way to gauge the reach of a channel. So I'm curious what you think would be the best way. And there's two potential answers, so maybe we'll call out two winners, um, unless one person gets both of them first. First question will be, let's say you don't have access to that channel's YouTube analytics. You just see what you see as a viewer. How would you assess that channel's audience, the size of the audience? And two is for your own channel where you do have access to YouTube analytics, what's the best way to assess the size of your typical audience? So with that, I will um, see what you guys say in the comments and see you next week.